Hello, it's Peter from Mini Model Paint Studios here, and this time we're going to be looking at uh, Nylac Oxide. It's one of Games Workshop's new technical paints. It's a wash, it's blue, and it dries a little bit chalky, which makes it perfect for weathering up bronze statues like this one, giving it that verdigris look. When bronze oxidizes, it doesn't rust, it goes green. And that's what we're going to achieve on this statue, which has been dry brushed scorched brown followed by tin bits followed by brass scorpion all dry brushed on to give this starting look so let's jump straight in we've got an old brush quite a large bristle size on it same as always with these technical paints i'm using an old brush something i don't care if it gets knackered up and we're slopping the paint on there's a reason we're slopping it on and not being particularly careful with it and we'll come to that in a sec we want to make sure the wash gets in all of the nooks and crannies. Deep into the crevices there, and that gets us ready for the next step. And here is that next step. Yes, it's a paper napkin, and let's wipe off pretty much all of our hard work. So. All of the blue wash stays in the crevices, but comes off the, the main metal parts. You can see in the back where I haven't painted it yet, the, uh, the difference between the, the bare metal and the highly weathered, very aged statue. Just try and dab that all out. And now we'll do the back, and I'll show you the whole thing when we're done. Nice and thick, all the way on. Let it run into all the cracks. Not too worried about the direction of brush strokes. We're not too worried about the thickness of the paint. Just make sure we shake it before we start. And then get the napkin out, paper towel, and wipe it all off. Done a little less weathering on the back. I'm assuming this is going to have its back against a wall, so it's probably had less rain and less wind attacking the metal, so it'll be probably not quite as effective as the uh, the front. Now we want to get into some of the details. And with a smaller brush, just fill that right in where the, where the elements have really, really attacked the metal. and then wipe it off. And this is the finished thing, about half an hour after it's dried. Get a nice, simple, easy to do verdigris. I highly recommend this one. And that's it. I'm Peter at Mini Model Paint Studios. Don't forget to click subscribe and follow me on Twitter at Mini Model Paint. Thanks for watching.